Today we will review how to create a simple calendar event in the Informant application and how to assign that event to a specific sync service. Before we begin, please make sure that you have your informant configured to sync calendar events. The sync services that are supported for events are Google Calendar and Informant Sync. The informant application can also share the iOS calendar data. For today's video, we will be using an iPad Air 2 in the landscape orientation. This device does have a home button. All other iOS devices will be similar in operation. To begin, from any calendar view or the focus view, tap the Add button and select Event. Then enter a title. Next, scroll down and tap the Start and End Times and Dates for your event. You may notice that further down in the editor, this informant has already created an alarm for this new event. This is an option that you can configure in the settings. Scrolling down a little further in the editor, we see the calendar field. This is a very important field. The calendar field is where you set the sync service for the event that you are creating. If you tap on this field, as you can see here, a list of calendars currently available to the informant application will be presented and they will be sorted by their sync service. In this case, this informant is syncing to the informant sync service and it is using Apple calendars. If I select a calendar from the list that is connected to the Informant Sync service, the new event will sync via the Informant Sync service. Or, if I choose an Apple calendar, the event will be assigned to the Apple calendar database on the device. Scrolling down just a little further, you can see the Comments field. Tap the Comments field enter your content for the comment and then tap on the done button. Now we have filled in the basic fields for the event and we can save it. This is done by tapping the save button here at the top right of the view. Once this is done the new event will be added to the informant calendar and synced or saved accordingly to the service you have selected. You may have noticed in the editor some other options. If you are not familiar with those options, feel free to try them. Other items include things such as colors, recurrences, icons, etc. Please feel free to try them out. And as always, if you have questions, please contact our support team. You can open a case to support from the support tab of the informant settings, or you can go to our website, pocketinformant.com forward slash support, and create a new support case there. We hope this video has been helpful for you, and we thank you for watching, and have a great and productive day.